Hi everybody, Andy Rag here, welcome back to the channel. In today's video we're going to take a look at a ride I did recently, uh, which started off just a, a bit of a, a bimbly ride, but ended up being a personal best distance. So if you keep with me, we'll take a look at what, uh, what I got up to. Stay watching. Okay, so we're starting off at Rother Valley Country Park and heading south on the Trans Pennine Trail. Uh, this, uh, this is a really nice section of trail. Um, it, it basically runs the whole length of, uh, of our village, Baton, and then heads south towards uh, Killer Marsh and, uh, and then on towards Rennishaw and Stavely. So, uh, as we see it here, just going through like a nicely tree section over the River Rother and then we approach the bridge that goes over Station Road at Killer Marsh which is, uh, as you can see, is just having a bit of repair work done. So we drop down past the three uh, local gentry and we have a bit of a climb up to uh, Killer Marsh Central Station. Now this is one of three stations that, that served Killer Marsh in the past and uh, obviously Killer Marsh Central says it all really was the one in the middle. Okay, so now we're approaching Stavely. We drop down and then up the hill over the old railway line. And instead of going right towards Chesterfield, we're gonna go left towards Stavely. Now, just as we approach here, these two people, you can see that the lady on the left, yeah, the left, <laughs> is, uh, has got a wheel tucked towards the right. And there's a bit of an accident. So I just stop, make sure everybody's okay. No bones broken, nothing broken at all, so I'll carry on. And we're back on a bit of a straight and uh, flat section uh, under Crackhead Bridge, and then on towards the uh, the crossing over the Link Road. Now we've passed the fire station at Stavely, and we're on towards Poolsbrook. left towards Poolsbrook. Now this is uh, a bit of a recent addition to my riding routes. Uh, a nice addition. It's uh, fairly easy going. Again, it's pretty much traffic free with the exception of this bit where I go over the road to the caravan site and then you drop down and then over the access road and then you're actually on the lake side. Can you see the heron in there? Maybe, maybe not. Hello, back out again. This is Paulsbrook Country Park. Uh, it's one of my uh, regular rides now. Gonna head up towards uh, Cresswell on the Greenway. Okay, so we come out of Polesbrook Country Park and normally I would normally go down the road here right the way to the industrial estate but this time I decided to take a bit of an overland uh, route. I know that there's a track there, it's just a while since I've actually been there. There's, there's a track that parallels the road here but it's really not very well made and a bit up and down and bumpy. Uh, as you can see here, 
at it the wrong way. <laughs> back up, turn around, and we're back on track. Now these uh, these pinch points here are very very narrow, so just if you're going to go right that way, just take care because uh, they're just wide enough to get a bike through. And uh, this uh, this next section is uh, a bit narrow, but it's uh, quite easy going. If I remember correctly, when it was uh, when it was winter time, it, it was quite heavily, quite quite heavily mudded up. But now, as we as we carry on, the the trail gets much better. It's much wider, and we're actually on the uh, beginnings of the greenway, but not quite there yet. Uh, we're just going up the back side of the uh, <laughs> the back side, going up the back side now. I think we'll cut that out. Maybe not. Yeah, we're just going up the, uh, the side of the industrial estate. And now we're at the point where I'd normally join if I'd ridden around on the road. So we're now actually on the approach to the Greenway proper. Bit of a climb, levels out a little bit. And as you can see in the distance, we've got the start of the Greenway. And we're there. So this section of trail is the uh, Clown and Cresswell Greenway. It's formed on the track bed of the old London Midland and Scottish branch line that ran in that direction from, uh, from the Poulsbrook Collieries over towards Cresswell and, uh, and beyond. Uh, primarily for transportation of, uh, of coal from the collieries etc. Um, it's a fairly steady climb up towards Clown, where it gets a little bit steeper as you approach Clown, but uh, it's fairly easy going. Again, it's traffic free. Uh, it's probably about two and a quarter miles from the industrial estate to the station that we're going to see when we uh, when we ultimately arrive. Where it starts to get a little bit steeper, uh, speed drops a little bit. I start going down the gears and uh, bringing out my backside, basically. But yeah, it's uh, it's a good uh, it's a good leg stretch going up here. And just as I'm passed by another set of bikers, somebody screams past me on an e-bike. Got nothing against e-bikers really, but it, it's really defeating the object, isn't it? As you can see, now riding through a very deep cutting, and we're finally approaching the Clown and Cresswell, uh, sorry, Clown and Balbra station. Right folks, that was Cresswell Station. Uh, sorry, <laughs> no it wasn't, it was Balbra <laughs> and Clown. Oh. Yeah, that climb is a bit, uh, a bit long. So I just had five minutes off the bike, had a drink, had a mouthful of uh, oats and stuff. And then we're back on the bike. Just gonna follow my nose this afternoon, see where I end up. Don't wanna do anything massive, but I, I won't mind doing a PB. Anyway, let's just, uh, let's just continue, shall we? 
not gonna oh, I'm not looking to break any records for speed today so so there we go but this is a nice bit of riding traffic free just, just a few pedestrians and a few other cyclists and the odd dog to avoid <laughs> catch you later Right, well you know what I said about not going mad. <laughs> I'm now at Cookney, the other side of Cresswell. It's probably as far out as I've come on a ride so far, certainly since uh, I was about 30. So uh, I'm going to head over to Clumber Park, uh, have 10 minutes and I'll probably uh, start my way back towards the house. But yeah, feeling good, and uh, it's a nice, nice enough day. A bit cool, but there you go. But uh, I'm enjoying the riding, so I might as well make use of it and get my money's worth out of this bike. Catch you in a bit. <laughs> off again so I'm pedaling away from the church at Cookney um, it's I still don't feel comfortable riding on the roads and uh, obviously that's going to you know the confidence there is going to increase as I do more and more road riding but it's not my preferred surface to ride on I'd much prefer to ride on trails but as I'm finding now if I want to get any kind of distance in, uh, in my trips I, I need to start focusing on, uh, on a bit of road riding as well so uh, we're just about to leave Cookney. And now we're approaching the village of Norton. It's, uh, it's a very picturesque little English village in the north of Nottinghamshire. As you can see, you know, it's, uh, it's quite rural. The type of architecture, etc. actually the boundary of the Welbeck estate and one of, it's one of the routes in there. I just thought it was a nice feature to capture on, uh, on the footage. And now we approach the, uh, one of the entrances of Clumber Park. It's very ornate and uh, I thought it'd be uh, a very nice inclusion into the footage. So now I'm climbing up into the park itself. You can see there's lots of parked cars, people out for the day, etc. Um, there's pretty much a fire, bon a fire ban in there at the moment. And uh, I climb up, get to the top, and there's a nice little dip where I can pick some speed up, gather some momentum. Final stretch up to the, uh, the junction just before you go into the uh, where you can turn right into the park centre. Um, I'm going to pull off the road here and have 10 minutes off the bike. Right gang, I've arrived at Clumber Park. I've uh, been off the bike for about 10 minutes now. I've been taking some uh, some pictures and catching up with me at Facebook and uh, messenger chats and uh, on all the rest of it and doing a bit of Instagram. So <sighs> just give it another five minutes and then I'll uh, head back. Let's uh, 
that's quite a ways home and uh, I can start to feel the legs uh, getting tired now so uh, not going to mess about might put a hyperlapse on for part of the journey but uh, yeah, it's been a good ride out been a great ride out weather's not too warm which is nice because that means I don't to start overeating and uh, yeah it's been uh, it's been good to see some sights seen a bit of wildlife some hares some pheasants the heron at uh, Poolsbrook so so anyway I'm gonna I'm gonna stop the piece of the camera there if you've made it this far thanks for watching please like share and subscribe if you haven't already and uh, oh, you'll see you again out on the trails cheers take care okay we're off again now this is the main avenue that uh, I'd normally approach the park uh, in the other direction from uh, for instance if I was taking the car into the park from home uh, this takes us out towards work so unfortunately what I didn't know uh, at this stage was that uh, the, uh, the gate uh, the gatehouse um, where you'd normally uh, cough up your beans to, uh, to get into the park if you're not a National Trust member uh, it's actually closed as you will see shortly and uh, I actually passed a little snicket through uh, which across the corner and allows you to get past so we're back on the road on the avenue out of the park now towards the, uh, the road junction with uh, one of the main routes uh, that heads north south into work so Rather ornate gateway, again one part of the Welbeck Estate, I believe. And we're all the way through works up now. Didn't bother filming any of that. Uh, we're about to head off the 619 onto the uh, the country lanes that, uh, that I know are going to sort of like get me through the villages back towards home. It's uh, nice and quiet. Uh, obviously, you do get the occasional car. But, uh, Again, moving through. This this lane is, is quite narrow. It's probably only wide enough for a car and a bike. So uh, I'm trying to make good progress here uh, to get through this section as fast as I can. And there's a nice little bit of downhill through this little bit of a hamlet before you start to climb up towards the village of Thorpe Salvin. And here we are, just entering Thorpe Salvin now. Just take a look at this, you know, the state of the houses on the on the right hand side there. They're massive. This is the village centre. We swoop down through the village and start to climb out the other side of the village. It's a lovely little village, and I recommend a trip to the parish oven in Thorpe Salvin if you're ever that way inclined. And now we enter the village of Hart Hill, getting ever more closer to home. Just check out this guy on the right on his push bike, he's going L for leather and I'm passing like he stood still. That was nice. I must admit the legs were feeling rather tired at this point and this next bit of downhill section was, uh, was very much welcomed. And now we're approaching the, uh, the little hamlet of Woodall Turn left off the main road, sorry, turn right off the main road, uh, follow your nose up the lane, and uh, you eventually head, end up on this bridleway which links Woodall up to, uh, up to Kivan Park. Yeah, you can pick some real speed up going down this track because there's a fair grade on it, so just be careful. It is quite a popular route. 
field and uh, through this gate and then you're on the, uh, another bridle way approaching the, the top side of Wales Bar and Kivan Park. section was, uh, I won't say it's difficult because it's not, but obviously the, uh, the fatigue in the legs, I was really feeling it and uh, there we go, that's where the battery ran out. So this is the route that I covered on that day, um, as you can see it's uh, quite a big loop, there's a little bit of a, a there and back uh, where, where you can see Kiverton Park and I did call in and see a, see a friend for have a cup of tea and luckily enough that coincided with a big downpour so I managed to dodge that one. And that's it folks, didn't record any more. It was a great ride out, really pushed my legs and uh, ended up doing 64 kilometers in the, uh, in the end of it. So if you like what you see, please consider subscribing to the channel, share the video, give it a like, big thumbs up, smash that thumbs up button, and hopefully we'll see you again sometime on the channel. Take care everybody, bye bye for now.